Hey, um, I'm at the train station by the park. Is there any chance you could pick me up? I'm standing under the yellow sign. Look carefully. It's kind of out of the way from the main platform. But you'll know when you see it. I'll see you soon. I hope I measure up. Hey! Uh, down here? <laughs> Hi. It's me. Your date? I'm sorry for not warning you, but this is me. I'm a tiny person. I know it shouldn't matter. Your profile said you didn't have a preference, but I'm kind of tired of people ignoring me online just because I can fit in their pocket. It's okay. I totally understand if this isn't what you signed up for. But if... If you still want to talk about it... Or get to know me... You can pick me up and we can go walk around the park. Nervous? You're the one who's nervous. <sighs> Don't be. You're not gonna drop me, silly. For one, even if you did, it wouldn't even be that big of a deal. Tiny people have really dense bones. One time, I got knocked off a desk by accident. I was bruised like a banana, but I was totally fine like an hour later. Trust me, your cell phone is a lot more fragile than I am. Would you feel better if we used the harness? Well, you look really cute when you're so nervous. So I'll be patient with you. It's easy. Just stick out your hand. Flat on the platform like this. Like you're scooping up some water to drink. <laughs> there we go. Side benefit of dating a tiny person. When it comes to holding hands, we put out... Because <laughs> technically you're touching my butt right now. Oh, you're too easy. Here, just a sec. Let me take off my shoes. It's just polite. If I'm going to be walking around on you, I don't want to get your hands all dirty. These go in my bag. And the rope comes out of the bag. It's kind of like those tiny straps on VR handsets. See? The ones that keep people from accidentally throwing them and shattering their TV. You just loop it around your wrist. Oh, are you left-handed or right-handed? Then I can cinch it down and clip this part to me. Perfect. Now it's literally impossible for you to drop me. Do you feel better now? I'm officially in OSHA grade safe hands. Are you forgetting something? Your basket, silly. Go on. You don't need both hands for me. I feel bad enough I can't help you carry it. What's in it? Is it a picnic? I was wondering what we were going to eat. Did you, um, pack two full-sized portions? Because I think you might end up with some leftovers. Oh my gosh, are you sure you're not mad at me for sort of catfishing you? For your information, I didn't actually lie. I just was really vague about my personal circumstances. And if you would have read my profile a little more carefully... You might have noticed a little hint. <laughs> it says my height is 5'2". That's 5 double apostrophe 2. 5 inches, not 5 feet. You promise you're not mad though, right? Thanks for taking me here. This is a really nice park. I've never been here before. Who would have thought there'd be rolling hills in the middle of the city? 
It's a good spot for a date. Good pick. Do you have a favorite place to sit? Oh, wow. Those willow trees are quite romantic. I don't think I'm brave enough to go for a swim in the lake, but it does look like a pretty place to enjoy our picnic. <laughs> Easy there. Put the basket down first. No, put me on the basket. Trust me, it's harder than you think trying to sit down with just one hand. No reason to make things difficult. I'll be fine. Now sit down. You've been walking so carefully with your back straight, trying not to sway. Meanwhile, I've been lounging in your palm like a queen. It's your turn to relax, too. No, don't worry. That's a good question. Nobody knows why some people are born tiny. Everybody's best guess is that it's just a thing that happens sometimes in utero. Neither of my parents were tinies. Mom always said it was more like a chore than a full-blown labor with me. We're literally one in a million, so there's not always a lot of special accommodations for us. It's not like there's private schools for the exceptionally small. I think everybody tries their best. But most of the time, people either are overly protective of me, or they just look right over me. <laughs> this one time in elementary school, my teacher left me behind while everyone went to gym class. Later, when she found out what happened, the teacher tried to make it up to me by letting me run around in a hamster ball during craft time. I was a little embarrassed. My dad taught me a lot of new words when he heard about that. And then I was homeschooled from there on out. Oh, my dress? Thank you. I made it myself. I can order socks and underwear and stuff like that. But anything fashionable, I have to shrink down a pattern and sew it myself. It's actually really affordable, since my job pays a full-sized salary. Sorry, I guess I tried to sneak that little fact in, didn't I? I just don't want to be a burden on anybody. Except when people have to carry me, because I have tiny little legs, and it would take me hours to walk here from the train station. Because then I'm literally a burden. But you know what I mean. I'm a person. I've got my own life. It's just smaller. That's all. Huh. They really do go just walking their dogs without a leash, hey? Sorry, I got a little distracted. Why don't you show me what you brought to eat? Oh my gosh! That looks so good! Would you pretty please make me a tiny plate? Just a little of everything. You can pinch off a bit. Don't worry. I'm definitely not taking points off for not having a tiny plate or table or chair for me. Why would you have brought any of that stuff? You didn't know. But I did prepare for this, and I brought my own plate. <laughs> I'd never go on a lunch date without one. Here. Thank you. Whoa, I'm hungry, but I'm not that hungry. Think about half that size. My stomach is only itty bitty. Okay, that's better. So, um, tell me something I don't already know about you. Wow, that's such a cool way to spend your weekends. We should totally hang out sometime and you can show me. Oh, <laughs> oops. Don't mind me just inviting myself to a second date. Mmm. The food's really good, by the way. You should probably know that about me. I'm a huge mooch when it comes to food. I always have the worst time when I try to cook for myself. 
Imagine me trying to boil one full-sized noodle for dinner. <laughs> oh, it was horrible. All the steam was making my hair misbehave. And then when it was time to drain the pot, I... <gasps> oh, okay, okay, easy, buddy. Easy. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. <gasps> oh, thank you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much for picking me up. Oh, that was so scary. I'm sorry. No, you were fine. I don't mind at all. I'd rather be pressed up against your chest then. I don't even know what was about to happen. <laughs> Will you just keep holding me, please? I am such a crybaby sometimes. I know. Usually I can talk dogs down. But you're my hero. Thank you so much. I know. I know you've got me. <laughs> I wanted to give you a big hug, but this is as much as I can manage. Mm, your heart beats like a drum. It's very... Calming. Please, could I just stay here a little bit longer? Mm, just a little longer. <sighs> Alright. I'm all better now. Did I ruin our date? Are you sure? Alright. This might seem weird. But, do you mind if I sit on your lap while we finished? I don't think the dog's coming back, but I think I'd feel a lot safer with you. Besides, you're very comfortable. It's not often I find a good chair. I'm so sorry I dropped my food. Could you please fix me another plate? <laughs> I just remembered. When I said I was in your OSHA grade safe hands, I guess I didn't realize how safe I actually was. That was really brave of you. I don't usually go for being anybody's damsel in distress, but it was pretty hard not to swoon. What a beautiful day.